Hello, and welcome to another episode of Learning by Doing, where you get to watch real data scientists go through pandas exercise questions right now. That's what it starts off with. But if you want me to do other things, just suggest them in the comments below. I'm doing this completely off the cuff, so you get to see my real thought process and going through these. So they generally take about 15 minutes. So come with me, enjoy. Today we're doing a visualization uh, in the tips uh, specifically. And so this is literally the data set used by Seaborn to go ahead and sort of demo a lot of the stuff. So let's go ahead and import what we need to do. Um, and we'll, we'll actually use Seaborn in this case um, because why, why not? Um, okay, this is literally just comma separated. So import Seaborn as SNS. Uh, and then let's go ahead and do um, PD dot uh, read uh, CSV basically on this URL up here copy link address um, oh so let's just call it URL equals this thing and then let's just say URL it was comma separated and let's just call this tips since I'm just reading this thing right here okay great um, so now we have tips let's delete the unnamed column so tips dot head and it has this unnamed column which is basically just the um, index, I believe, that was saved there as well. So we can just del uh, tips um, uh, unnamed colon zero. Thank you for the colon space. Uh, plot the total bill column histogram. Oh, oh my, oh my, Seaborn. Oh, are you, are you able to do this for me? Um, so we can do, um, uh, so Seaborn uh, dist plot is sort of the thing that they use for its plotting a distribution. A histogram is a way to go ahead and plot that distribution. Um, and let's go ahead and plot it of the data equals tips. Um, and then I believe it's just X, right? So um, can we actually use data with this guy? It doesn't look like it. So it doesn't really matter. So let's just go ahead and get the tips dot um, uh, total bill, uh, total bill, total bill perfect beautiful oh I, I did a KDE plot and everything I'm so good if you kind of want to learn a little bit more about Seaborn by the way I've done one tutorial on it actually a lot of tutorials on it that are actually super helpful so definitely check them out okay so we have plotted this let's create a scatter plot now the relationship between total bill and tips okay cool so SNS again it's that's it's this tutorial oh my uh, scatter plot X will go ahead and be total uh, bill. Um, y will be uh, tip. Um, and then the data will be tips. Sweet. So you can see the total bill is related to the tips linearly. Uh, create one image with the relationship of the total bill, the tip, and the size. Hint, it's just one. Oh, oh, dirty. Uh, OK, cool. Um, so we can go ahead and check this out. Uh, so there's a couple of ways you can do it. You could do it with hue, technically speaking, but I think size is what they're going for. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, throw this down here because uh, it's kind of getting to be a little bit of a big function call. Um, and let's go size equals uh, size. And so now you can go ahead and see the party size is also represented by the size of the dot. So what an excellent data set to showcase Seaborn. I'm, I'm not even paid to do this. What am, what am I doing? Um, present the relationship between days and total bill. There's so many ways we can do this. With Seaborn, one of my favorite ways to go ahead and do this is doing, uh, we could do a box plot. We could do a violin plot. Um, let's just do a box plot. Uh, it's a simple one. Uh, so box plot has x values and y values. For the y value, we can go ahead and say this will be the days. Uh, for the uh, x value, this can be the total uh, bill. And then the data equals uh, tips. Once again. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can I in interpret the days? Um, dang. Oh, great. Um, so I did this in the y-axis. Maybe I should have done it on the x-axis so it would look a little bit better. But there you go. You can definitely see there's uh, different things here. I mean, violin plot's a little bit nicer so you can see actually how many uh, relative to each other just based on the size. I think you might even be able to do that with the box plot as well. Um, 
order data key width. Maybe with the width keyword, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, we can go down here and check it out. Um, width, no. So you can do this with violin plot. Not important question to ask for. Uh, create a scatter plot with the day as the y axis, tip as the x axis, uh, and differ the dots by sex. Oh, oh my god. Okay, we can do this. Um, so the scatter plot with day is the so we can try this out. Let's try this out. Um, we might need to do a um, a swarm plot uh, to go ahead and do this over. Um, so to to basically be able to do this over a category where uh, where uh, x is a category. So the x is day, uh, or uh, I'm sorry, create a scatter plot with day as the y-axis, right? Uh, tip as the x-axis, and differ the dots by sex. And so we can just do um, hue up here. So hue equals uh, sex. And so yeah, so that, that does it. Um, the nicer thing to do here would just be um, making a swarm plot. Um, it's kind of meant for this type of thing. x, y, yep. Um, we can do that. And you'll notice it kind of gives us a little bit more information as to how many specific individuals are uh, tipping uh, this specific amount and on which day. So, Okay, uh, create a box plot presenting the total bill per day, uh, also differing it on time. Oh boy. Um, so this is, uh, what, what an exercise here. Um, so with this, uh, we can go ahead box plot, uh, total bill by day, and then what we can also do, um, uh, we could do the hue uh, for the uh, different time. So hue equals uh, the time. Uh, we can put a little comma in there. That'll be perfect. So you'll notice that there are no lunches in, or there's no lunch uh, on uh, Saturday and Sunday. It's just dinner. Uh, and then Saturday and Sunday, uh, I guess on Thursday, they barely have a dinner. So, cool. Uh, create two histograms of the tip value uh, based, of the tip value based uh, for dinner and lunch. They must be, they must be side by side. Okay, can we do it? Um, so SNS dot factor grid, facet grid. Um, Okay, so let's go ahead and get the so side by side. So the data is tips. Um, the uh, row, we'll do it on a column. Column, oh, right, is it call? It is call, okay. Uh, will be dinner, lunch, so it will be time. Um, this will go ahead and give us a facet grid. And then we can go ahead and do g dot uh, map uh, sns dot uh, the dist plot, um, and so let me just do this quickly. So g dot map, always always good to read these function definitions. Func a callable arcs column names in the data or the data itself. Um, okay, cool. Let's try this out. So sns dot dist plot, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the. Um, uh, which one? Uh, we want to do the tip. Cool. Oh. So um, factor plot, really, or facet grid, really awesome way to go ahead and do these types of visualizations. They look just sweet. Um, so if you really want to learn how to do those, I've done a tutorial. Definitely check it out. It's a really good one. I love it a lot. It's like five minutes long, so it's definitely worth your time. Um, okay. And then finally, uh, create uh, two scatter plot graphs. One for male and another for female, presenting the total bill value and the tip relationship differing by smoker and no smoker. Oh my lord. How are we gonna do this? Okay. So great. Um, let's see, keyword args, great. Okay, so cool. Um, so we can do two scatter plots, one for female, one for male. So we're doing facet grid, two scatter plots. Um, we want to do a scatter plot, a scatter plot, um, and 
what I would like to do here, okay, so we can do um, x equals, so let's do this. So g, you can also use, instead of map this, you can map d data frame. Oh, come on, oh baby. Okay, g dot map data frame, great. Um, so you can go ahead and you can map the data frame, uh, which I think is much, much nicer. Uh, and then we can go ahead and basically do this. So y equals um, total uh, bill, uh, and then hue equals um, smoker. So hopefully this will work. Great. So notice what we did here. Um, we basically called SNS scatterplot on with this, basically with these parameters, x equals tip, y equals total bill, hue equals smoker, with the data being the exact data frame uh, that we put in up here. So, okay. So I hope you guys like this. This went really smoothly. It normally does not go that smoothly. You can check out this video if you want to see one that didn't go that smoothly. Um, and then other, otherwise, let's check out the solutions, make sure it looks good. Uh, it looks pretty good and self-explanatory to me. Maybe they'll be doing something a little bit different. Um, cool. So grab this data, delete this column. They do dist plot, perfect. Um, they, you know, notice a couple of things too. They set the X label, Y label title. They despline it. Totally good. Really, really nice. Um, oh, they do a joint grid for the scatter plot instead of the scatter plot. This is super good as well. Um, uh, right? They create a relationship of total bill, tip, and size. Oh, okay, okay. So they just did pair plot. Uh, always a really good one here. Um, I didn't know that's exactly what they meant. Um, I thought they meant, I, I, for some reason I read this as by, slide, by size. So definitely really, really useful one pair plot. Always cool. Um, okay, yep, the relationship here. They did strip plot. We did a, a swarm plot, ultimately. Um, uh, yep, and they did another strip plot. Again, swarm plot, very, very similar to a strip plot. Um, looks nice, looks very, very nice. Uh, box plot looks exactly the same. Uh, two histograms side by side, perfect. Facet grid, they just did plt.hist instead of the dist, totally fine. And then this scat plot, scatter plot. And so they, again, use the plt functions instead of the seaborn functions. I like using the seaborn functions personally inside these facet grids, but I've definitely seen more people use scatter or use the plt. Okay, if you liked the video, go ahead, leave a big thumbs up. Definitely thanks for supporting the channel, and I'll see you next time.